think one of the many areas that has really um, piqued my interest is <clears throat> the deliberations and the discussions around the preparation for Pilna uh, in 2025. I think the meeting has really provided a, a, a safe space uh, for Talanoa, um, a space for us to object, uh, to query and to also seek clarification about how ECAP is going to take uh, and scale up uh, Pilna for 2025. So I think this has been a very um, positive uh, meeting. <clears throat> so that we as leaders can express our views and also come to a consensus of decision making around Pilna. Um, well, I, I guess I'm in a safe position to say that we haven't just waited for the 2021 results to come out. We have constantly looked at the Pilna results of 2015, 2018, and I think from there uh, Samoa has really invested in an intervention and I think one of the uh, <clears throat> the outcomes from Pilna is the Fulaunga and the Ephonics project that is now ongoing between Samoa and Ike. And that has come about, about because of our urgency to make a move uh, in improving literacy for our students in Samoa. So that is one big outcome. I think the Pilna resources also informed uh, our, our teacher training programs. Uh, it has also informed uh, the way we look at policy as well and also just looking at our assessment processes um, and the development of tools. So I think Pilna has uh, informed us around those areas. I see PALS as a way to actually provide regional benchmark um, and an assessment so that we can actually look and see where we are um, as a country, as towards the region. It's always good to have uh, an overview um, at the regional level because it does confirm um, our systems and our processes and the way we are developing and uh, looking at teaching and learning in the country. So PALS for me is uh, a next step to having a regional benchmark at the lower secondary, something that we, have, we haven't had before and it would also provide um, links to the actual Pilna um, assessment that we do at the lower primary so hopefully we will be able to see some sort of correlation between um, how our students perform at primary and how our students perform at the lower secondary um, at the regional um, level. It's also important that PALS will provide to us reports and data that will re-inform our decisions about teaching and learning at the national level.